As we honor black history tonight, KPRC2 is going inside the Black Cowboy Museum. It is a place filled with photos and stories that date back hundreds of years. But the museum's organizers in Rosenberg say it's time to expand as they look for a bigger place to grow and continue to share black history with the world. KPRC2 Sophia Ojeda is live now in Rosenberg with the story. Sophia? Chris and Lauren, some of the oldest pieces inside the Black Cowboy Museum date back to the 1400s. The founder says it's time now to expand and they plan to move to a historic house on several acres of land in Richmond. Howdy folks, y'all come on in. When you step inside the Black Cowboy Museum in Rosenberg, it's like a walk back in time. Pictures and posters of black cowboys line the walls, antique saddles and rare riding relics too, all from an era not too many are familiar with. It's important to have to know your past, to know where everything came from. Larry Callis grew up roping calves just like his father. He went on to win several contests in the 1950s, only the second black cowboy at the time to make state finals. He wants the world to know the first cowboys were black cowboys. The word itself came from slaves. The, the word boy meant a servant. And back in the 1800s, the black cowboy was the only cowboy. Well, a former country singer, Callis has been in many magazines, books, and even the New York Times. He's currently working on several books about the black cowboy. He also plans to include a small library in the museum where children can go to after school. In my back room, I used to have a saddle shop. Well, we own make a library. Callis is currently raising money to purchase this home built in the 1800s and secure 10 to 20 acres of state land close to the Brazos River, where he can continue teaching the world about the first cowboy, the black cowboy. What the black cowboy did in the 1800s, it was so important because they fed the whole United States and nobody knew that they were black. Callis says he's also trying to get funding through the Barbara Bush Literacy Foundation to help fund this expansion. If you would like to know more and know more about the fundraising efforts, just head to our website, clicktohouston.com. Reporting live in Rosenberg, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC2 News. Keep us